Morning, guys. Welcome to Coffee Chat. Mmm. Wow, it feels like it's gearing up to be an absolutely fabulous day here in Southern California. I feel that sun just smack me right there on the cheek. And boy, I'll tell you, Judy and I are so grateful to be missing the major heat wave that's going on in Texas. And apparently when we actually get back to Texas, the day we arrive, it's due to be like 109. That is insane, especially when, you know, you're out there and the humidity is driving it up to like 115. Believe you me, when I'm out doing my walkabouts out there in Texas and it's getting like that, I'm telling you, it is truly insane. And I try to do a good job, but boy, you're just sweating like crazy doing it, I'll tell you. Mm. Well guys, it is hump day and I sure hope that you've been having an amazing week thus far. I know for us, it has been absolutely just stupendous. Just being able to get out there, spending our time with our family and our kids and our grandkids and all that kind of stuff. And for those of you who've reached grandparent status, you know exactly what I'm talking about. It truly makes life worth living, that's for sure. Well, I'll tell you something. The article that I was reading this morning, this is a big, big, big deal, especially for most folks, or oh, most folks, especially for everyone living in the United States. Now, the article was about how the very first ever transaction between India and the United Arab Emirates for oil being paid for in, get this guys, Indian rupees yep indian rupees being used to purchase oil india buying it off of the united arab emirates and guys why is this such a big deal well what we're talking about there of course is absolute attack against the petrol dollar and for those of you who have been watching my coffee chats for a while you know that i already believe the petrol dollar is dead we just not haven't had the funeral yet that's all that's happened there and this is major, major for everyone living here in the U.S. because of this right here. Mm. Back in the early 70s, you know, under the Nixon administration, you had Henry Kissinger go off there to the to Saudi Arabia, make a deal with the House of Saud over there that, you know, the United States would protect their interests so long as they worked out a situation where oil would only be sold in U.S. dollars. Now, what that gave the United States is a stranglehold on the reserve currency status around the world because oil was being traded in U.S. dollars. So all kinds of countries all around the world had to have U.S. dollars on reserve in order to go out and make the purchases of oil. Well, now that is completely off the table and it is going to affect us in a massive, massive way. And you got to get this. Now, why was the U.S. so, you know, wanting that so badly? Well, because, of course, with reserve currency status, you really can actually go out there and, and influence the world in a political way without even firing one shot. You just have to go out there and use your monetary might and, you know, cut people off and issue sanctions and all that kind of stuff. And you could actually enforce your political will that way. So the U.S. has been doing that for decades upon decades. Well, now that is under threat. And with the loss of that reserve currency status, get this. Mm. Most demand for U.S. dollars has been outside the U.S. And in fact, there's a statistic out there. This one is absolutely amazing, but true. There are more 100 U.S. dollar bills in Russia than there are in the United States. Now, that is powerful, um, you know, example of the demand that's out there. Now, when you lose that world reserve, reserve currency status, what happens? Well, the demand, of course, for U.S. dollars dropping, dropping, dropping. What happens to all these central banks and countries out there that are holding this U.S. dollars? Well, they start to return them, don't they? Mm -hmm. And what happens when all those dollars start coming back into the United States like that? Well, guys, you are going to see hyperinflation like we have never seen it in the history of this of this nation state it is going to be absolutely mind blowing the result of what's coming and that's why i say hey we got to keep our finger on the pulse out here so that we know how to prepare how to protect ourselves you know i was listening to robert kiyosaki the other day and he made an absolutely fantastic point 
People are out there encouraged to, oh, keep your money in the bank and save this fiat currency. Why on earth would anyone have any interest in saving U.S. bucks when they're printing them by the trillions and on top of that are expected to see, you know, inflationary result like crazy? Do you realize since the 1930s or no, sorry, I think it was. Yeah, the 1930s, somewhere in there, when they established the Federal Reserve, that the U.S. dollar has lost 98% of its purchasing power. Why on earth would I want to go out there and put my money and save my money in dollars? No way. That's why for Judy and I, we look at this digital asset space because look, these assets are traded globally and they are holding on to their value. Why? Because guys, they are an asset that has intrinsic use and people and demand. And on top of that, hey, precious metals, silver and gold and things like that. Things that are tangible that have a real world use case in not just, and of course, gold and silver monetary instruments. And you know, a lot of these digital assets are also monetary instruments along with being you know, places, things that can be used like silver. Silver, I'm telling you what, has got to be one of the most undervalued assets that there is on the planet. When you consider the use cases for silver, it is truly amazing. But guys, I'll tell you, Robert Kiyosaki is right there. There's no way I'd want to save my money in U.S. dollars. No way, no how, considering what I can see coming down the road. The loss of this petrodollar status I'm telling you, I don't care who else is saying anything different. I don't buy it, not for a second. Oh, but you don't understand the U.S. economy is the world's greatest economy. We don't even need to have that world reserve currency status. We're in a baloney. I don't believe it, not for one second. And that is because, guys, we know how the world works. And right now, on the 22nd of this month, you've got all the BRICS nations that are absolutely getting together. And we know for a fact that they're going out there and creating the infrastructure, already have created the infrastructure to circumvent the SWIFT system and to trade between one another outside of the U.S. dollar. And what is one of the countries of the BRICS system there? India. Now, India's economy is absolutely amazing. You mean you're talking about one point some billion people in India and their economy is really a powerhouse. And on top of that, you got China as part of the BRICS nations. Then you got Russia. And I mean, you're talking about a massive percentage of the world's population that is not going to have to be transacting in U.S. dollars anymore for their power and for all these other things that they need, oil and all the other, you know, commodities they're not going to have to do it guys and get this they're building their new currency off of the back of distributed ledger technology and it is reported that they're backing it by gold there is a big big turn happening in the wide world and if you want to actually find out about it, i actually watched a really amazing you know, kind of article or, or uh, I guess an infomercial almost, if you like, by Ray Dalio about the changing world structures and world economies. And guys, we are right in there. There is absolutely zero doubt. It's something that you definitely want to pay attention to. And that's why I say, look, make sure that you're prepared. Go out there, buy a little extra food that you normally eat. Keep that pantry full. Hey, you use these products, various shampoos and soaps and this and that. Go get that stuff because I'll tell you, hyperinflation is coming. It's going to get worse and worse and worse. And at the same time, you got the Federal Reserve out there just printing, 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 printing. Look, if they really want to attack inflation, stop the printing presses right there. Low, slow them way down but no what do they do they go out and they get these acts in congress passed called you know the financial fiscal responsibility act or financial responsibility act and in there give themselves another four trillion dollars it is just absolutely obscene but that's what's going on and guys when they're doing that what are they doing you and I are paying that piper. They're literally reaching into our jeans and pulling out cash by the fistfuls because they're destroying the purchasing power of our dollar. And be sure they're going to blame it on everybody else and something else. But if you really want to attack inflation, don't just jack the interest rates. Stop the printing presses, but they're never going to do it, guys. The whole goal of the Federal Reserve and all these central banks is just inflate, inflate, inflate. That is all they can do. If you take away their power to issue one dollar, it is game over. Over. I'll tell you what, wow. Mm. Guys, get ready. 
And in this digital asset space, I believe that those of us that are invested in this and we've got in on the on the on where we're at right now. Now, sure, we're not the trailblazers, you know, we're not the Lewis and Clarks, but we're definitely pioneers. And a day is going to come when the settlers are going to come. The merchants are going to come. The industry is going to come. And it is going to look crazy. And for those of us that had the foresight to see and to get involved sooner than what, you know, a lot of these other folks that are coming in did, I believe we could see the fortunes tied and you guys have heard me say it i think it's going to be the greatest wealth transfer in the history of mankind that's genuinely what i believe so if you're in this space i'll tell you just thank god thank just the blessings that he has given you and i so that we know about it early on because what's coming is a tidal wave that most people are genuinely unprepared for well i'll tell you what guys i sure hope you're having an absolutely fantastic wednesday and until later on today when we have an amazing video for you have a great one and take Care.